Hey, good morning. Chuck here at the Apple Drains. Today we're doing a, a crawl space. Uh, we're putting in footer tile, perimeter tile. Some people call it a French drain. This is the pipe that runs all the way around the inside perimeter of your crawl space, leads to a sump pump. Sump pump lifts it up and takes it out. Let's take a look. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're down in a crawl space installing a footer tile. Some people call it a French drain, but it's a pipe that runs along the footer. And you can see here's the footer. Here's the foundation wall. And this is the bottom of the footer. We don't want to be too much below that, the bottom of that footer because we could jeopardize that. So we're only going to be down about probably eight inches, six, six to eight inches in this area. And what the footer tile does is it collects the water as it moves through and under this wall. It goes into the pipe travels around. They've already got a sump pump and sump pit installed over there, but we've got about 110 feet of footer tile to install here. We've got Gerald digging over here on the back side, if you can see him back there, and another guy in the front. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So we've got our footer dug out for the most part. You can see it runs along the footer here. We're actually tying into an existing drain on that side, but we've got it all dug out all along the footer. Notice that I opened up the vent and we're going to be pouring our gravel uh, through the vents here because it's really difficult to bring gravel back by the bucket and this will make it a little bit easier. Still have to move it from here, but it'll be a lot easier. So we're tying into the easy flow drain. You can see this white fabric that encases uh, styrofoam peanuts and there's perforated pipe inside. Stuff works pretty good, um, really costly. It's about five bucks a foot, um, which is really expensive. If you've got a hundred feet, you know, it's 500 bucks to put that pipe down there. So plus the labor to, to dig it out. But if you're doing it yourself, peanuts work really good. So it is gravel and perforated pipe. So this sump pit and sump pump was put in by what I like to call a bug company, some exterminators. And you'll notice that there's no pipes leading into the pit. They perforated the pipe and surrounded it by gravel, but they did not connect over here where you see the gravel coming up to the pit. They did not connect the pipe to the pit. Why they do this, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they just didn't have a saw to cut that off, but um, this is a, a store-bought pump and it will work. Much better as a Zoller you know, M53, but they did an okay job. So we've got our trench pretty much done. Our footer trench it comes over here to the sump pit you can see I drilled a hole down here to bring in the pipe on our side and I also went ahead and dug a drilled a hole on this side over here I also drilled a hole over here on this side I haven't pulled it out yet but it's right here and we'll go ahead and stick a piece of pipe in here into their gravel because they did not connect right here and that way our pipe from the other side is coming through the system. We needed to drain into this pit really well. So while the guys are pulling the pipe down into the crawl space and getting it ready, I'm going to go ahead and start loading up these buckets. This is a yard of gravel, maybe a little bit more. It's about uh, 3,000, maybe 4,000 pounds, a couple of tons of gravel. Got to load each bucket. We're going to put it in a wheelbarrow. We're going to pour it through a vent, which makes it a little bit easier, but you still got to load these buckets. Okay, real quick lesson about pipe. You can see this is both corrugated. ADS is the manufacturer, Advanced Drainage Systems. This pipe has holes drilled in the bottom, three holes. Notice that it has a green line on the top. It tells you that's the top of the pipe. This also has a green line on the top, but it's slotted pipe. You'll notice that there's holes all the way around it. This makes it really simple for both homeowner and contractor because it doesn't matter which way those holes point. There's holes on the bottom, there's holes on the side, holes on the top. Remember that you do need a base of gravel underneath to make this system work properly. Then you'll cover your system all the way up to grade. This is inside the crawl space. So you can see we've got our buckets ready to go. Our vents are open. The guys are pulling the pipe in there. Remember, we need a small base of gravel down in the bottom of the trench. Your holes point down unless you're using slotted pipe. Let's go inside and take a look. So we're pulling in our pipe. So we've taken out 
the vent and we're going to pour our gravel down through the vent. Nice little system. So we're pouring gravel through the vent into a bucket, and then we move that bucket down inside. Comes out real good. You can see our gravel here. We put a couple of buckets here. Takes about 50 buckets to do this crawl space. So we got Gerald loading up those buckets. He brings them over here to the crawl space pours them through the vent and this is our result you can see we've got a nice trench covered with gravel of course our perforated pipes down in the bottom of that cover that all right ready for ready for another one need one more he can pour it through this one too I mean be right on it don't have to move it at all So real nice little area, works good pouring it through the vent. Still slow going, but a lot less on their back. So if you're going to put a dehumidifier down in your crawl space, this is a really good one. Santa Fe Compact, um, really helps dry out the crawl space. And basically, you can see the little condensation line, that's going to pump that water over to your sump pit which is way over there in the corner, you can't see it. But, really nice little pump. So we've got our inlet line coming in there from our footer tile, as you can see. We also connected their pipe on this side. Here on the other side, this is gonna get covered with gravel all the way back to the crawl space opening. So, a few more buckets of gravel. You know, this job with three men took about three and a half hours. Uh, we put in a little over 110 feet of footer tile. Again, a lot of people call that a French drain, but it's footer tile. It runs around the inside perimeter along the footer. This is a job the homeowner could do themselves. It's definitely a lot of labor. Um, you can see we've been switching off. Sometimes I'll shovel gravel, sometimes somebody else. The hard part really is down in the crawl space because you're moving those buckets around. But you can do it yourself. Put it all in that bucket? No. So just the last little bit here, right by the crawl space door, just had a couple of bags of gravel we needed to pour to cover up that pipe, and we're done. So when you're all done, you have a nice footer tile, French drain as some people call it. It stretches all along the perimeter of your crawl space. Make sure you remember to grade the area out, trying to keep it flat. And you're done. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.